Happy Halloween, everyone! Hi, it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. The villains are back. Find them in Ruby Chess. So, in the Tower Challenge, actually, there has been a lot of villains being used in the Tower Challenge quest and in the secondary storyline uh, challenge quest as well. So, that has been really awesome. Um, so, I'm only missing three villains right now, which is actually pretty impressive. Uh, now, all the concessions and stuff like that that you can find in these chests you can have as many as you want of them really um, like I already have a few of the frozen cone and the poison apple stand and the Lilo and stitch I've got a lot of concessions right now and that is one of the things that you can just never have enough of I mean they are good guys if you have a lot of them already if you and if you do get one when you open the ruby chest which is probably a half decent reward um you guys can always trade them in in merlin's shop merlin's shop is great because you can trade it in for elixirs and stuff like that which is fantastic because you can buy pretty cool stuff in there iago is now level three that's it that's all i get sheesh i've been working my tail feathers off out here <laughs> poor iago you want to know why I stuck around Jafar so long? Besides the constant threat of death and dismemberment if I left? Sure, the guy's a crackpot, but he gave me tons of opportunities to practice my voice imitations. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. I'd like to see anyone make a living as a freelance parrot impressionist. See how far they get. Anyway, it's hard to find a decent practice space around here. I guess that fountain could work. Okay, who am I now? Send Diago to demo voices at the Lotus Fountain. Buddy, we can be like best friends now. I had no idea you were so cool. Oh my goodness. We both like making voices and impressions, and uh, I think I want to go with him to the Lotus Fountain, guys. I really do. Oogie Boogie is now level three. Looks like I won the jackpot. Ooh, that Jack thinks he's the best thing to happen to Halloween since the electric chair. Guy's got no class, no style, no savoir faire. And he definitely ain't got any of my dance moves. <laughs> dance moves, Oogie? What? Dance and ghoul. Send Oogie out to dance. <laughs> now, uh, that, that definitely would is going to be a sight. What is he doing? Oh, okay. That could have been a bit better. Aladdin. Carpet, I hope you worked everything out with a boo. Hey, either you are flying sideways on purpose, or you are trying to hide a fez under your tassel. You know, if you really want a hat, you don't have to take a booze. Just come to the marketplace with me tomorrow. We'll get someone to embroider one right on you. Quest complete. Going to the mat. Uh -huh. I don't think we should do any more embroidery on carpet, Aladdin. I think that is a mistake. Ah, oh, it's always the 301 and a half cup of tea that goes down the smoothest. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Cat. You haven't been putting prickles in my third best hat now, have you? <laughs> Oh, gracious, no. That would be the hedgehog, you know. The one the queen uses as a croquet ball. The one the queen uses as a... Oh! I don't know who that is. Quest complete. You guessed it. But could you tell him to leave me be while I'm taking my tea. It is my own birthday after all. I don't much care for doing things, being as I'm not all there to do them myself. But 
if I'm to keep a hedgehog from the Mad Hatter's tea, then I would have to keep the queen from hitting the hedgehog, and that would make the queen angry. Oh, I do so love making the queen angry. <laughs> but what I love even more is making Alice make the queen angry. Cat got your eye! Send the Cheshire Cat to get Alice's attention. Oh no, Cheshire, don't do it! Oogie, that's the stuff! Like to see that skinny little skeleton man match that kind of moxie! Let this be a lesson to ya! You wanna win a dance contest? Try being 12,000 bugs in a 10 foot bag! Quest complete, dancing ghoul. Oh wait, looks like I've gone and cornered the market. Ha 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 ha. This dialogue's so much fun. <laughs> it is brutal on the vocal cords, but it is kind of worth it. He is so hilarious. Oogie Boogie. I mean, who knew that he was the comedian in, in my kingdom? Well, actually, Genie and him, you know, they could have a contest. Yago, no. No, 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 no. Never practicing there again. What is it with flamingos? I'm some kind of catnip to them, or what? For the love of Mike, we're different species. The legs alone should be a dead giveaway. Quest complete. Okay, who am I now? I swear, next time someone asks me out for a shrimp dinner, I'm soaking them right in the beak. <laughs> you should be flattered. With humans, legs, lots of legs are good things. Oh, why, hello, Cheshire Cat. You seem to be smiling even wider than usual today. Am I? That must be because I've had the most wonderful idea. Tell me, Alice, do you want to make the queen really angry? What? Goodness, no! Why ever would I want to do something like that? <laughs> Because, my dear, the queen is already angry at you. Quest complete. Cat got your eye. If someone is already angry, then making them really angry, well, you've practically already done it. <laughs> yeah, clever, clever. So that was actually super awesome because we got some lift sync coins and a refresh token. Goodness, so the queen thinks I've been painting her roses red. But, but I haven't. Not since the first time we met. And she can hardly be thinking of that time. I'm not even sure she remembers it. You don't say. Well, perhaps if you knew where she was, you could remind her in person. I should say not, but speaking with her does seem like a good idea, if only I knew where she was. Well, why don't you ask Mingy? After all, I know all of the Queen's ways, always. Maybe by a compass? Send the Cheshire Cat and Alice to talk directions. Yeah, maybe by a compass is actually a great quest <laughs> title for this. Seriously. Wild. Alright, so hopefully the Cheshire Cat doesn't lead Alice astray here. I'm a little bit worried that that's what he's got planned up his sleeve for sure. So, um, be careful, Alice. Be careful. Oh, dear. Okay, so milestone reward has been reached in the tower challenge. This is the third one. So the gargoyle fountain is a new decoration that is now going to be going into my kingdom. So I'm going to need to find a spot for it. I might actually have one um, in the 
kind of spooky area I have in my kingdom. I'm gonna have to just check to make sure that it fits there though, because I don't know how big this is. If it's as big as the Headless Horseman statue that I have, then that could be a problem. I don't think it'll be that big, but you never know. Mm, so this is my little spooky section here. I think it's pretty cute. Now, where is this statue? Or fountain, I guess it is. Gargoyle fountain, there it is. Oh, perfect, it fits right here. There it is, guys. So, I think it looks great in my spooky section. Holy moly, I love it. Great addition in a perfect spot. All right, so let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing in the tower challenge and if you have been able to welcome the mayor yet. I'm going to be doing that in this video today. Um, hopefully, anyways, that I get through all the point milestones as well. I'm gonna try and uh, get the Tweedledee and Tweedledum hat stand concession as well. Cheshire Cat, you know, I would be likelier to trust your directions if you hadn't spent half that time pointing up a tree. <laughs> so you would. All the ways may be the Queen's ways, but I suppose leading you astray must be my way. <laughs> But if I were going your way, I would pay a visit to the flowers. Quest complete. Maybe by a compass? The flowers, well, I suppose that's what counts for good advice with the Cheshire Cat. Yeah, but Alice, he didn't particularly get along with the flowers, which is a little bit of a problem. She is here. Thank you, Cheshire Cat. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Majesty. Quiet! Stand up straight, curtsy, speak politely, and do not twiddle your thumbs. One must always attend to Rule 12, after all. Convicted rose painters must behave courteously until the moment of their beheading. Convicted? Oh no, your majesty, there must be some mistake. If only we could find a quiet place to talk. I'm certain I could clear my name. You'll see. A rose is a rose. Send Alice and the queen into the golden afternoon. Oh, be careful of the flowers. <laughs> They could lead the two of you astray, and that would not be very good. That would not be good at all. Okay, so in chapter three, guys, we've got Toy Story Tangled, Wally, and Alice in Wonderland characters that are useful. And the only thing is, though, is this time in this particular Tower Challenge, they have actually locked all of the Alice in Wonderland characters. So pretty much, guys, we have to do that dialogue and that storyline and stuff like that with Alice and the Queen of Hearts or there is no way we are going to be able to uh, unlock that feature and get way more points and event currency. So really, we, we need it. We need it, and we need to do that dialogue. So me, for me, buying those uh, magical chests and stuff like that a few videos ago was actually really smart. So it was great that I got so many awesome characters in that for sure, but the best part is, is that this is gonna help me with the tower challenge storyline and everything. So I'm really happy about that. That was fun. Do be a little more careful next time though. It wouldn't do to have bite marks on my favorite rib. Wait, what? What is going on here? Quest complete, fetch. They just pointed at zero having dialogue. I just saw it. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was confusing. We can't have that. Why did Zero have dialogue? I just read it 
sort of as Jack, but Jar of Deadly Nightshade token in gold chests now. Okay, I don't know if that was always there, but, huh, okay, that's a new one. Usually we get all these crazy decorations and stuff like that. So maybe, guys, I know they've done some revamping with the chests. So maybe they've done some revamping on the gold ones, too. Which is actually quite interesting. Alice, so you see, I've never painted any sort of flower, any sort of color at all. Bearing when lives were at stake, of course. Hmm, yes, I see. You do? Oh, thank you, your majesty. Thank you. I knew you would see reason eventually. I just knew it. I see that none of these flowers were ever roses in the first place, let alone red ones. Case dismissed. <laughs> oh, shenanigans. What? Quest complete. A rose is a rose. Oh, well, I suppose any dismissal will do at that. What? No, you were trying to fix the problem. Now the queen's gonna be super angry. Maleficent, impossible. Of course, all the incompetent, witless, ridiculous. Mark my words, if I never join forces with another villain again, it will be too soon. There's only room for one mistress of all evil in this kingdom. And all who challenge me, whether good or evil, will pay the price. Ah, what? She scares me. She majorly scares me. Oh, yay! The featured collection is now unlocked! Yay! We did it, guys! We did it! That means now I can get way more points, way more coins, and then bring in the mayor. So, see, this is where it's possible, guys. You just gotta do that dialogue, and I know it takes a while, but um, once you do it, this is amazing. And the Queen of Hearts is helping, too. So the villains are now on our side. So, yeah, okay, Maleficent, that may have backfired for you, because now we are challenging you. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> All right, so now I'm in the shop here, the event shop for the mayor, and I am so, so, so close. I know I still need the currency uh, to bring him in, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not that far off. All right, here's Ursula. Kaluga, rest of the gales of the Black Sea to me. Decent enough for a rush job, but that barely took any effort at all. I do love spreading a good curse, but if I'm not putting one over on some poor Mursap at the same time, it's just not as fun. Maybe I should try to get Miss Tall Green and Scowly's signature again. She'd make a fine addition to my garden. Quest complete. Most unfortunate indeed. Nah, too risky. It's just like they always say, you can't con a confish. <laughs> okay, so Ursula's not helping Maleficent anymore either. What is happening? The villains are going soft, guys. What? I know they're all for themselves, but still, I feel kind of weird that they've all turned on her. I mean, that's good for us, but I just feel like it's a little strange that there's not one that is willing to stick around and help her out with this curse. But I guess that's the whole point of the game, right? They are part of my team now, and Maleficent, well, she's alone in this fight, really. All right, here is Maximus back in the kingdom. And Maximus is now level 10. 
Holy moly, five gems for that. That's awesome. I can't believe he's level 10. So that's the last time we will see his welcome screen. The Mad Hatter <laughs> of Wonderland. The Mad Hatter is now level five. Splendid, splendid. Now how about some tea? You know what, I quite agree. I would like a cup of tea right now. As long as I actually get to drink it and you don't overflow it with sugar, like you have done to Alice in the past. All right, so Alice can now level up, but I think the thing that's going to stop me from leveling up more characters is going to be the cups. So I need cups of tea. So those basically are the microbots or the seashells, I guess, of that collection. So they're usually one hour quests for all of the characters and stuff like that to go out and collect. So it sh I should be able to collect them pretty fast if I send them all to get more cups for like all at once. All right here is Alice back in the kingdom. Alice is now level three. Oh, how lovely. It is lovely to see you back again, and hopefully you're your right size. I've just realized something about that grove of flowers. I'm my normal size, you see, but they're even taller than I am. Or perhaps the flowers are their normal size and I'm the one who's small, but I'm sure I don't remember shrinking. Well, this is all very confusing. Maybe if I got a closer look, it would be clearer which was which. Changing sizes. Send Alice to investigate the golden afternoon. So she's not sure if they have gotten bigger or if she has gotten smaller. So hopefully she can figure that out. It's no use. I'm no closer to knowing my own size than when I started. Of course, that's partly because I had a bite of a mushroom as I went in there, so I really got too small to have a proper look. But was I the usual amount of small, or was I even smaller than the usual amount of small? Quest complete. Changing sizes. One thing's for certain, at least I haven't disappeared entirely for something to be thankful for. Wow. Alice, you just need to stop snacking on mushrooms. We've got lots of concession stands that you could go to to get like a burger or a snow cone or an ice cream or a hot chocolate or a pizza. There's lots of things that you can go and eat besides crazy size changing mushrooms. <sighs> oh dear, what are we going to do? All right, so guys, guess what? Big moment right now. The mayor is ready. Okay, so I've collected everything for the mayor now, including the thousand event currency or Maleficent coins, whichever we actually want to call them. They are event currency and they are Maleficent coins. So you can use either term. So here is the mayor. And yes, it is going to take 60 minutes. The thing is, I don't really want to wait for him. I really, really don't. Oh, wow. This is going to be so awesome. So I will be able to do the mayor's dialogue as well. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Hopefully I've got my mayor voice ready. And... <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm super duper excited to get him. So let me know in the comments whether you guys have the mayor now. I'm sure some of you do. Um, I definitely didn't have the full collection going into this tower challenge, but it definitely helped once I opened all of those magical chests. If you guys want to see what I got in the magical chests, don't forget to watch those videos. There are a few of them, and you guys can count how many magical chests I really did open because I opened. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I like saying a lot doesn't even you, even compare to actually how many I opened. It was insane. So now what I'm actually super excited about is now that I'm gonna be getting the mayor and doing the dialogue and stuff like that, and hopefully getting the points and stuff like that, is that now I can actually start working on other things. So 
part of my main storyline again and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to get the mayor to level 2 because we need 10,000, I believe, event currency. At least that's what it was in the previous event. So we'll have to wait and see for that. So I did say I was going to buy one of these ruby chests for you guys. So it is 100 gems. So bye-bye, gems. But it looks super cool. And I could get a villain. Oh, I got an ice cream stand. So, yeah. I already have one of those. Maybe even two. So, that's alright. So, let me know in the comments below. If you have opened a ruby chest, what did you get inside of yours? If you guys have all the villains, then you definitely will have probably got a concession. But if not, if you don't have them all, like me, then uh, maybe you were able to pull out a legendary villain from that. I wish you could actually buy it with real money, though, and not have to use the gems. All right, here is Bullseye, and he is now level 6. Whoa, Bullseye, that is awesome. And we are getting dialogue. Bullseye. You are not going to believe this, but they were showing a Woody's Roundup Marathon over at Pizza Planet. You should have been there. They had my favorite episode, the one where Sheriff Woody and Bullseye outrun the stampede. Woo! Makes me want to go for a good old gallop. What do you say? Are you with me, partner? Ride like the wind. Send Woody and Bullseye to go for a ride. Alright, so I will have to send them to do that. That's so cool, though. I can't believe Pizza Planet was playing that. <laughs> Dale is now level 8. I'm excited already. Aww. He's actually in his lunar vest. I don't have the other one, but it is cute that I have his, so... That's okay, I'll get it at some point, probably in a Mulan legendary chest, which I have none of those characters. Anna is now level 8. Oh wow, I have got to tell Elsa about this. Speaking of characters though guys, the mayor is ready, so I will be bringing him in, but I am going to be showing you guys once I bring the mayor in what level all of my characters are at. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy. The Cheshire Cat is now level three. <laughs> so much fun. Yes, standing on your head. <laughs> Why, Cheshire Cat, I hardly expected to see you in such a place. However, did you get here? Oh, it's you. I have my ways. Well, yes, but which ways? I shall have to return home before long, you see. And the way home, you say? Well, there's always my way. Lacking in direction. Send the Cheshire Cat and Alice to find the way. Well... I can send you guys home. Technically, there is a send home button, but I do enjoy you all in my kingdom. Wooly Jafar. Jafar is now level two. Soon, all of Agrabah will be mine. No, it won't. Especially if I never send you home, you won't even have a chance. You'll be stuck in my kingdom. Mwahaha. <laughs> Now who's the villain? Okay, here is the mayor and his welcome screen that we are seeing for the first time. Congratulations, you've completed the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Here's four gems. Because it's a new collection. Oh, I just love going over a fresh batch of Halloween plans. Jack dropped off this latest set of blueprints at the town hall last night, you see. We've got an appointment to review them later, but I just can't resist sneaking a peek. They are official records, after all. Burden of office. Send the mayor to review the Halloween plans. Oh no, two hours! Okay, that's fine. 
So there is the mayor in the kingdom. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, Jafar is so much taller than him. That is insane. Woody. Phew, that was something, huh, pal? Aw, don't look at me like that. Where was I supposed to find a stampede to outrun on such short notice? Tell you what, I'll go talk to Ham. Maybe he'll agree to jog around for a while mooing. Quest complete. Ride like the wind. Guys... The tower challenge is done. I just, I don't think it hit home until right now. That it's actually done. Yay! Well, I guess I've got the points to work on. But I got the character, which is kind of like the best part. And I still have like two days to spare. So that is amazing. Oh, how terrible. How absolutely terrible. And not the good kind of terrible, either. To think that our Jack, our pride, our joy, our never-ending font of inspiration could possibly be considering such an idea. Quest complete. Burden of office. I should find Jack right away and straighten all this out. It must be some sort of misunderstanding. <laughs> I think I should have had maybe a different voice for his other side of his face. What do you guys think? All of the silly nonsense. You've done nothing but point in whichever direction you please. Which way is the right way? The right way? Yes, yes, the right way. Or do you mean to say that the right way is right? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid I don't mean anything at all. Quest complete, lacking in direction. After all, when the right way is no way, what's left? <laughs> okay, what is left? Craziness. Okay, so... Um, now I do have another thousand of Maleficent coins here, and so I'm going to spend them because I know that if I buy all of these items again, then I will be able to use them to level up the mayor once the tower challenge is over. So that is definitely a huge bonus. Milestone reward reached! Yay! The fifth one! The Tweedles Cap Stand. Okay, so that's the official name for it. And... It needs a spot in my kingdom. I don't have the perfect location for it just yet. So I will kind of be putting it somewhere over here in my kingdom. So it's just here for now, but I will try and reorganize it a little bit to fit it in. It's so hard with so many concession stands. I want them all out, but there is just not enough room in the areas where I'm making my collections and stuff. So it's hard. You almost need a piece of land as like transition land, you know, like in between your sets and stuff. That way you can actually get the concessions in and stuff and the decorations that are super cool. It's very, very difficult to decide. All right. So guys, I have made it to the end of the tower challenge. I got all the points and I got enough currency to have the mayor and I've done the dialogue for him until he at least levels up to level two. So everything is all done. And yes, I had over two days to spare. I was so worried I wasn't going to make this challenge and stuff like that. I was so scared, but I worked hard and it paid off. So hopefully you guys like this video make sure to subscribe hit the little bell for post notifications don't forget to give this video to a mickey thumbs up and stay tuned for my all my characters video which i have promised you guys and is coming next okay bye